Are you ready? We're live. Rose, it's Friday night. Hashtag Fridays with Daddy, also known as hashtag Fridays with Flav. Hope you're having a great day. Tonight is going to be a great way to end the first week of quarantine with me with a delicious <laughs> dinner that is uh, 100% real, delicious, healthy ingredients that your body's going to love. A lot of them are pantry staples. We're using some great pork from our buddies over at Thrive Market, and uh, it's going to be awesome. So before we get started, Rose, say hi to everyone. Say, you're looking at Uncle Art. Okay, let's say hi to Uncle Art first. Everyone say hi to Uncle Art over there, a.k.a. Uncle hi, Fartura. Everybody. Hi, Rose. All right. Rose is like, I still don't understand why Art's there, not here. And then Rose, say hi to everyone here. I don't understand. <laughs> Everyone say hi to Desi. Now, can you hear me uh, okay and Desi? Hi guys, can you hear me? Can you hear Desi okay? Let us know. After you do that, a little bit of homework, let Rose and I know where you're watching from. Leave a comment down below and uh, then we'll get rocking and rolling. So let's talk about the menu for tonight. Everyone looks good. Uh, I see Rosh Rajesh here. I see Amber. I see Taylor. I thought I saw Stangman there. Art's in the house. So here's the menu for tonight. I'm really excited for it. It's pasture-raised ground pork kebabs or kefta, seasoned with fresh herbs, spices, garlic, and lemon zest. And the filler is actually going to be almond flour. So that part of the recipe is keto. We're going to bake them into little kebabs or keftas, put them on a bed of the most crispy, crunchy, fresh wild rice salad with roasted vegetables, fresh cabbage, and a creamy horseradish mustard vinaigrette. And I think I'll make a dairy-free kind of uh, tzatziki or something like that, right? So let's get rocking and rolling. We got to thank, though, once again, every Friday night for the next month, including this month, Thrive Market is a sponsor of the video. They really want to support the channel. They've been doing it for over two and a half years, and they really want you guys to know that even though there's shortages at the store, they got you covered. They're not short on everything at all. Uh, the shipping might be a little delayed, but they're going to hook you up with your favorite organic, non-GMO, paleo, keto, whatever it is, drum roll please, uh, Rose, for up to 30% cheaper than the grocery store. They have what I consider the best pasture-raised pork in the country right now from a small farm in Georgia called the White Oak Pastures. I'll be eating this for breakfast with Desi and Rose all weekend long. Sugar-free paleo bacon, Paleo, keto, pasture-raised pork, and they have a bunch of other stuff. So in the description box down below is my special link just for my followers. You uh, will get a, three, a free 30-day trial. Try the pasture-raised pork. Try my favorite grass-fed collagen. Also, try their version of Siete grain-free paleo uh, tortillas. These are hard shell, made with avocado oil. They're cheaper than Siete. And this I use every day in my smoothies and my tea. Uh, they're a big supporter of the channel. And the way you support this channel is by supporting amazing companies like Thrive Market. So thank you guys for being a great sponsor of the channel. So we're going to get started by seasoning our ground pork. This is actually a recipe from the cookbook that we use uh, ground beef for. You can use beef, chicken, or lamb. It doesn't matter. So let's get started. Uh, first super chat of the night from... Kevin, $2 holla, Flav City Rocks, no Kevin, you rock. Maggie B Rocks, Amber Rocks, Bianca, Amira, my girl from uh, New York City Rocks, Danielle Rocks, and Guy, if you're just joining, keep leaving comments down below. She wants to know. She's like, I need to know. Tell me, baby girl, because I need to know where you're watching from. That's what she wants to know, right, Rose? My All sweet. All over the world, man. All around the world, people crumble for Rose. So I still have this leftover spice rub from the other day. It's a mixture of smoked paprika, turmeric, and cumin. Hey, Brian or Amira or everything Erica's in the house, smell that. How good does that smell? Well, I thought I wasn't going to use it forever. I've been rocking it all week, and now I'm going to shake it into, shake, shake it off into my ground pork there. Ground pork. Hey, guys, raise your hand. I have a question. Is ground pork salty like bacon, or is it bland and very unflavorful? What do you think? Let me get your spatula back here, my love. Because I want to know how much salt I should add to my ground pork. So you got, let's give a little feeding break. Desi, what, by the way, let's say hi to Desi real quick. What are you feeding the lovely roaster tonight? Hi guys, same as yesterday. Uh, the other half of the pear cooked with coconut oil. Yep. Uh, by the way, anyone wanting that recipe for the blueberry panna cotta that uh, Desi made for Rose? I'm going to do it this weekend. Okay, this weekend we'll hook you up. Yeah. So a lot of people are saying that 
the pork is bland. But Desi, I thought pork is salty like bacon. What's the deal? <laughs> That's the popular belief, right? Yeah, a lot of people think that just because bacon is cured and salted doesn't mean the other cuts are. They're just as bland as chicken. You got it right, Amber. Uh, you got it right, Maggie. So that means I have to season this pretty aggressively. So I'm going to pinch in about, this is one pound of ground pork. So I'll add just over a half a teaspoon of salt. Jesse's been telling me I've been over salting my food, so I'm going to take it a little easy tonight. You have been, Bobby. <laughs> Art took her side without even being here. Wow. By the way, Art's Bluetooth speaker is coming on Sunday via Amazon Prime. Hey, so this is what we have to do. You think of a meatball, you think of a meatloaf, we need a filler or a breadcrumb. I want to keep this part of the recipe keto. So I have about half a cup or two thirds of a cup of, of almond flour here. And I'm going to soak that in a little bit, whoops, a little bit of almond milk. Oh, nice. Baby. This is Instead one of, of my, breadcrumbs. yeah, this is one of my favorite tips of all time. Because number one, you won't even know that it's almond flour or almond milk, but you need that lightness. If you ever actually make meatballs without breadcrumbs, they're dense. They're like a golf ball. So I would just take it, I'd tee it up like Jack Nicholson and four, 350 yards out, right? You need a breadcrumb, but instead of using starchy carb... Jack Nicholas, don't you? Yeah, what did I say, Jack Nicholson? Yeah, yeah thank Jack you. Nicholas. I haven't seen that movie. Yeah, or maybe Billy Madison where he winds up like this and hits the ball like that. Price is wrong. <laughs> you got a question a bit? If you don't want to use salt, what can you use? So if you don't want to use salt, here's what I'd say. Use half the amount of salt I just used, and then at the end, squeeze over some lime juice or lemon juice and zest. Zest or acid, like vinegar, lemons, limes, are a great heightener of flavor, much like salt is. But you have to use a little bit of salt. The key is using the right salt, which I'll talk about later. And the right salt is not white iodized table salt. It's not Morton salt. It's unrefined salt. So this is really the key to the recipe. I'm going to let that hydrate for a second. Yeah, this you is the salt Gina, 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 $2 yeah. holler. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Rosita Tambela. Oh, very muy, muy bella. Uh, yes, pork skins or a chicharron crushed up would work great. Lemon. We're going to use lemon two ways in this recipe. First, I take the zest off here because they say I'm obsessed with zest. And when you have that many zesters in your thing back there, they're probably right. Did, Maybe it's not. Yeah, there's no AA or meetings for those, though, Art, yeah. CA, Zester's Anonymous. <laughs> CA. I mean, I'm going to Zester's Anonymous. Now, since I already have this out, just like we talked about the other night, I'll zest a garlic clove because I'll leave the paper on like this. So it's not only good for cheese and zesting, it's good for ginger and garlic. This is why when you go to Amazon.com slash shop slash Flav City, this is one of my number one gadgets. I think we can use a little more garlic as if I'm not eating enough garlic already. Desi, tell everyone what I do every day with garlic. He eats it as a snack. Uh, <laughs> it's a snack. All day throughout the day, before, after, breakfast, all the time. I eat it twice a day because it kills the demons and gets the devil out of your body. It keeps you healthy. Breaking news, Karuna Rose. Love that name. $10 holler. Love Rose. We love that. Thank you so much. Irva with the big... Thumbs up. I love that, Irva Cruley. Thank you so much. It's Friday. Where's the wine? Thank you, Carmen. I'm going to pour me a glass of keto wine right here. And they're actually sponsoring the video next Tuesday. So I'll give you a bunch of info about this wine, but we'll talk about it next Tuesday. It's one of the coolest wine companies around. Right? Carlos. Got off work uh, early. Carlos. Two guys, $4. Oh, Carlos came off of work, I appreciate, this is for you, Carlos. This is for everyone quarantining, staying home. We know it's tough times right now, but we can get through this. Uh, let's be happy, not hoard, and uh, wish for the best, right? A Little bit of sugar-free keto wine. Mm. Never get tired of that, that's delicious. Rose is having her keto, that's a keto fat bomb for Rose, actually. It's not keto. It is, it's actually all fat. Oh, it's not, I'm oh, sorry, it's, it's a pear. pear, I'm sorry, it's paleo. It's a paleo fat bomb. Okay, let's continue seasoning. A little bit of dry thyme goes in my kefta. And then let's take the hydrated almond flour. If you're allergic to almonds, you can use uh, chicharrones or pork rinds that are, re that are uh, crushed into a, a powder. 
And then I want to get a little bit of fresh parsley in there. Art, why? You gotta make Hilda happy. Gotta make so trivia. When Art when Art and I say fresh parsley makes Hilda happy, what are we talking about? Does anyone know? Yeah, right. Uh, Art, question for Art. Did you shower today? Wow, he showered just for Fridays with Flav. That's amazing. Just for Fridays with Flav, just for hashtag quarantine with me. Amazing. Oh, thank you, GI. Oh, I appreciate and that. And shaved. And shaved, yes. Go all out. I had to make up for yesterday. I didn't do either. <laughs> um, let the record state that I have not showered today. Thank you. And I, and I actually haven't brushed my teeth either. I forgot. Oh, let's see who's here. I bet it's Amazon. Let's see. Yellow. UPS. UPS. Nice. Aiden just came in with a five dollar super chat. Thank you for keeping us sane with these daily live streams. Staying at home doesn't mean losing our good healthy habits. No way, Aiden. That's what I'd love to hear. Can you use coconut flour? Yes, you can. You use uh, a little bit less coconut flour. You'll be hundred percent fine. So parsley goes in there, and I think that's it, right? Let me just double check the recipe on Flav's. Oh, the recipe for this, by the way, is not only in the cookbook, but it's on the blog. I put the recipe down below. A lot of flavor going on in the, in the, in the pork, babe. Oh. No egg, babe? Oh, no egg. Uh, show my shirt for a second. It's the different cuts of the pork. Oh, Libra knows what we're talking about. Emerald. Oh, nice. I, I love it, so Libra. On the pork, you have what part of the... So this is... So ground pork is usually made from uh, shoulder, ground shoulder. A lot of good fat in there. I'm going to put a touch of red pepper flakes for heat. So Desi, we made this. Tommy. Whoa. Whoa. Tommy, huge fan. Next week, I'm going to be home to watch. I hope so. I love it, Tommy. Go home in quarantine. BB Bailey's down 65 pounds. Do you hear that, Rose? 65 pounds making our recipes. Uh, find your chicken tender video. Thank you for that, Bailey and Deborah. While watching while working, love you guys. It's Friday. You should be home. Uh, and Elizabeth, a three dollar pair is me, bear is me. And Rose eating a pair. Elizabeth, three dollars. Thank you, Elizabeth. Thank you. Shaheen, all right, guys, dropped in to say hi. See ya, Shaheen. Have a great night. Stay safe in Dubai. Shaheen's a great fan. So while I mix this up, Desi, why don't you tell the story about Kefta? and how it won us a lot of money on the Food Network. Well, uh, a kefta recipe was actually uh, our winning dish in the third round of guys about ooh, six years ago. Six years ago, wow. Six years ago, it was a family edition. Bobby, I, and Scotty, uh, Bobby's brother, were competing against uh, three other families which had a professional chef on their team, but I was the only one who was a home cook. That's right. And we won the whole competition and sealed the deal with those keftas in the third round, winning, winning. a lot of money on, on the uh, shopping, spree. shopping spree. And uh, the keftas you made, babe, on that show. Amazing, right? I mean, you nailed it. Like, yeah. they were perfect. Those perfect. were made out of lamb, right? Yeah, the ones you made were made out of lamb, and we made a couscous and a yogurt sauce. Yeah, it was Robin forty nine ninety nine rocket. I'm taking a rocket, <laughs> Robin. Wow, you guys are amazing. Thank you so much for the support. Oh, you guys are so fantastic. Thank you. So yeah, the show is fantastic. If you look, uh, I'll try to share it later on. It's called Family Feud. F Family Feud. Food. Family right? Food Feud. Family Food Feud. I don't remember what season it is. Maybe season five. Yeah, season five, Family Food Feud. And uh, it was a really fun time. That was really nice. It was a lot of fun. So much adrenaline. Whatever you guys see on TV, that's exactly what happened. Yeah, it's intense, bro. Exactly 30 minutes from starting uh, to run with the cart to pick up uh, ingredients around the grocery store, which is a huge grocery store, which is... It's a replica of a, a real life size grocery, grocery store. store. It's yep. crazy. And you have literally 30 minutes to shop and cook. I mean, you spend at least 10 or so minutes uh, shopping and then you cook for 20 minutes. It was, it was so crazy. It was so much adrenaline and uh, it was the best time I've ever had. Amazing. Finley's in the house. Beer number one. Great Lakes. 
Fridays with Flav, any Palo 61 wine? Right there. I just cracked the bottle about five minutes, my man. Well, great to see Finley, a huge fan with his wife Tunces in Cleveland. So guys, I barely mixed this together. I think one of the key to making kefta kebabs, meatloaf or meatballs is only just to combine everything. If you over mix it, it's actually gonna be a little tough and dense. So just mix it to combine. And look how loose they are. That's great because we have that beautiful filler of the uh, almond flour. That's one time it's okay, a little bit of filler, filler, right? And you're doing your hand water. In water, just to make sure the mixture doesn't stick to my hands. What other product Thank you, you Jonathan. Pro uh, protein, yeah. ground chicken thighs, ground turkey thighs, 80-20 ground beef, or ground lamb. That's what I would do. And normally I pan sear them, but I don't want to make a mess. Last night's cleanup was a total pain in the behind. So I'm going to bake them in the oven and maybe broil them at the end. And then while it's in the oven, we can make a wild rice salad, a little bit of tzatziki sauce. It's dairy free. Ooh, it's gonna, like it Jesse loves the tzatziki sauce, right? Yep. So have you guys had fun this week? We've done live stream every night. We're probably going to take tomorrow and Sunday off. Maybe we won't. We don't know. And then we'll be back every single day next week cooking and quarantining with you guys. I think as long as the quarantine goes on, we're going to keep cooking every night. Because what else are you going to do? I mean, come the evening time, it gets kind of boring. There's only so much you can do around the house, work out, whatever. I've actually been slacking on my working out because I don't like working out at home. I go to the gym normally four or five days a week, and now I'm, a I'm kind of slacking, to be honest. Can you use coconut flour? Yeah, I would use coconut flour, just a little bit less. I would probably use like half a cup of coconut flour because it's very dry. But yeah, coconut flour is great for breading and filling. Very tough to bake with because it's so darn dry. What other, what, what else can you use as a filler if you don't have... Oh, um, you flour? can use chicharron. Oh, chicharron, anything yeah. else? If you want mm. chicharron, it's pretty tough Can't, to find. Uh, ground up some nuts. If you have any kind of nut at home, grind it up into a meal and use it. Or just uh, bread, right? Well, if you don't, yeah, if you don't care about uh, keto or paleo, yeah, bread, breadcrumbs soaked in uh, milk, right? Mm -hmm. Thank you, Adriana. I appreciate that. All right, these are done. Wow, nice job, everyone. Then beautiful. Let me wash my hands. On guys, grocery, I had to uh, form the cactus. Yeah. So that they're perfect. Desi does all the fine-tuned stuff around here. Okay, you guys get a chance to watch the video I launched this morning about the healthiest fast food delivery options available. And then tomorrow uh, is a video from Whole Foods. I went shopping alone yesterday and just filmed a little video while I was shopping to show you the current state of the grocery store. So I don't know how long these are gonna bake. Let's set a timer for 15 minutes. Then I'll stick a probe thermometer in yonder. Meanwhile, I boiled earlier one cup of wild rice. If you're gonna eat rice, this is the rice you want to eat because the nutrients in this put any other rice to shame. There's way more fiber and there's no heavy metals or arsenic because it's technically not a rice. It's an aquatic grass. The only downside, it cooks for at least 45 or 55 minutes. So plan ahead. But I love, love that stuff. It's one of my favorite things. In addition to sugar-free keto wine. Chip Finley, this is for you, my friends. Everyone hoist a drink right now. It's all to Bill Brasky. Good point, Art. Okay, so I want to make this a real funky monkey style uh, wild rice salad. So what I did ahead of time, look what I did, Ben. I roasted butternut squash, mm. zucchini, broccoli, and parsnips. So a cooked roasted element along with this, and then we'll do a raw element with some cabbage and some kale and stuff like that. And then I want to make a creamy horseradish mustard dressing. Bount chicka wow wow. How sexy does that sound, right? That's going to be good eats. Grab the, the rice out of here so I can show people. Yes. What do you want to show? The rice. Oh, yeah. Where is it? Right here. That's, the, that's what it looks oh, like. Rice. Well, car... Carmen, thanks for being you. 1999 with the moringa. Look at that. It's a baby moringa, Rose. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Huh. Uh, yeah, YouTube takes a 20% cut of uh, Super Chats, Amber. It's kind of annoying, but what are you going to do? Ooh, Kathy's in ketosis. 
Sherry bought the chickpea pasta from Thrive and had a problem with it sticking together. Any suggestions? Um, I would make sure your water is boiling and stir a lot for the first two minutes. I would do that. Let's see here. Deborah, Flav, fam, hit the like button. Thank you. By the way, we have a thousand people on here. Let's get more people on. Take the link to the live stream, share it over to Instagram, Facebook wall, coffee meets bagel, Tinder grinder, wherever you want to have more people join, bring them on over, right? Uh, Thrive Market has wild rice too, by the way. You can get that. So it's just lunch, yeah. Let's get a few more ingredients out of here and then we'll get some. Fuck 99. Thank you for that, my dear. Let's add some kale. Let's add, we're using this red cabbage slowly but surely. I don't want roast the... some of the roasted uh, squash. Oh, nice. Should... And then we'll do a mayonnaise, Dijon mustard, maple syrup, kind of vinaigrette. Perfect. Get the maple syrup down here. And if you guys are just joining, the star of the show is the Thrive Market Pasture Raised Pork. I talked about it earlier, but we always have to give love to the sponsors of the video. Um, in the description box is a link to a 30-day free trial membership at Thrive Market. I would try the Pasture Raised Pork Bundle, and I would also get the organic grass-fed ghee. Check this out, babe. This is the best ghee, in my opinion, on the market. And then I have a few other things I love there. Uh, I talked about the collagen, but I also love their organic coconut milk because it has no guar gum, no fillers, all thriller. So definitely check out Thrive Market. They've been shipping all throughout the crisis. They haven't run out of anything. They're not price gouging anything. They're also giving away free Thrive memberships to any family in uh, medical need or financial need and they're still shipping. They actually could increase their shipping times, but they don't wanna to have too big of a carbon footprint. Amazing company, two and a half, three years, they sponsored the uh, Flav City channel and we love them. Everybody says that you're wrong. The star of the show is Rose. Thank you, the star, sorry Rose. The star of the show is not the pasture raised pork. Mm -hmm. It's this pasture raised little piggy, right? <laughs> and this little pasture raised piggy with your, I'm gonna eat your cheeks. I wanna eat these for breakfast with some maple syrup. Good point. Mm -hmm. A little more. It's so, she has the you best. Whoa, a pound. Thank Sounds you so much. No, I don't like rice pasta, Megan. I like pasta made from complex carbohydrates like legumes, maybe brown rice and quinoa. Was it a euro? Oh, well, we haven't got euro in a long time. Wow, how about that? Okay, so. A pound. Everyone, by the way, say hi to Art. If you have a question for Art, hashtag ask Art. If you have a question for Desi, hashtag ask Desi. A question for Rose, hashtag ask Rose. No natural flavors in those cheeks. No, gosh, no. Are you kidding me? Pasture-raised, non-GMO, organic, free to forage. The food that Rose eats is really spectacular, actually. If you go to my Instagram, there's a safe story called baby food. We show you a lot of it. Johnny, 199 Bobby, still no shower club, bro. <laughs> no, yeah, no, only one shower at night, and I haven't done it today, Johnny. I'm sticking true to my roots. Emily, $25 holler for Rose's College Fund. Love your channel. Thank you, Em. There's probably a greater than 50% chance Rose won't go to college, but thank you anyway. I appreciate that. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> All right, so red cabbage to get some crunch, some rawness, and some fiber in there. Ask Rose, who's your favorite parent? Yeah, right. Art, are you super bored at home? Art's busy. He's editing all my videos. He's showering. Stuff like that takes a lot of energy, folks. Uh, then we'll add some kale. By the way, the black lacinato kale, the price went down at Whole Foods recently to buck seventy-nine for an organic bunch. Best deal in the history of mankind, I believe. I wanna give Rose some of these chunks. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, the cold pressed juice from Costco is good. Do you need to buy spices as well as regular vegetables organic? I would recommend getting most spices organic. 
Um, it's not 100% necessary, but think about where paprika comes from, bell peppers, and bell peppers are a Dirty Dozen member. So yeah, to be honest, if you get organic spices from Thrive Market or the bulk section of your grocery store, it's not that much more expensive. Great question though. Chris loves the keto meal prep book. Uh, I'm gonna make your recipes. I've lost 80 pounds on keto, love to hear that. I'll bet you've not only lost weight, Chris, you feel better, you have less inflammation. Maybe if you were pre-diabetic, you're not anymore. That's the real beauty of a keto and a paleo diet. It's not just about weight, right? Any reason this is in 720p? Maybe the YouTube gods granted us uh, a good night here. Uh, yeah, I keep forgetting the kale. Here, everyone keeps asking about the kale stripper. So here's my kale stripper, right? And what you do, it's on my Amazon shop page. You put it in the corresponding hole and you pull it, right? And it separates the stalk. It doesn't work well if the leaf is a little wilted, but here, let's do one more. I really, they actually almost, I think they sold out or they came out with a new one. Stang said he lost 55 pounds. Stang is on fire, Chris. Yeah, way to go, Stang, man. Dang, bro. That's not easy to do in Austin with all that food, right? So, good for you. I, that, I love to hear that kind of stuff. Love it. So let's take our kale. And just, kale's not very tender. You can rough it up like that. You're not going to bruise it. Right? It's not like spinach. And kale, you always want to buy organic. It is Kale and spinach are the dirtiest of the Dirty Dozen members. It must be organic. Wow, this salad is going to be amazing, um, It's going to be amazing. With the wild rice, cabbage, oh my roasted God. veggies. It's about as nutrient wow. dense as you can possibly get. So it's not keto or paleo, but if you're gonna eat grains, I've said it a million times, this is what you wanna eat. You don't wanna eat like a bowl of white rice, in my opinion. You wanna eat something that offers a big nutrient punch, and this is it right here. I'm gonna make that um, horseradish mustard dressing. It's gonna be delicious, right? Is that trumpet boy? That was trumpet boy, thank you for noticing, Art. So I think that's about it for adding stuff in the salad. Let's make the dressing really quick. Hey guys, if you haven't done so yet, you gotta leave a comment down below letting us know where you're watching from. We love to see people from all over the country and all over the world, right? Dang, Chris was 225 pounds in our Central Market video that we filmed together. Uh, if you cook regular kale to make it tender, do you still get the same nutrients? Yeah, when you cook it, you still get the same nutrients. Some living nutrients die, but it's not a big deal. Some people don't realize that eating raw is not always the best thing because some nutrients actually get released when they're cooked. So that's why I like this salad. It's a blend of mixed and raw vegetables, right? Um, 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 is that delicious, Rose? Is that scrum diddly umptious like Ned Flanders? Let's get another bowl here for daddy. And I like this recipe because we're not making a big mess. Normally I would uh, pan sear it. The captain, I'm not doing that. So we'll put some mayonnaise in here. And we'll put some maple syrup, which makes it paleo, right? The dressing, the salad really isn't. I love stone ground mustard. You guys are hearing me say it a million times because the brown and the yellow mustard seeds offer some texture in there. And I really like that. We'll add a pinch of salt, a few cracks of pepper. Bobby loves putting <coughs> pink dressings these days. Putting what? Maple syrup? Yeah. Oh, I've been doing it all winter long. Desi's not the hugest fan, to be honest. I like a little sweet. I like a little sweet. A favorite steak cut? Mm. No favorite state in the United States. Oh, uh, probably California. Besides Illinois, California. California is its own world, man. It's like another country, to be honest. A little bit of lemon juice. And then I want to get some horseradish. Now, you can grate your own fresh horseradish if you want. But I like prepared horseradish, but quality prepared horseradish. So I'll come in here. Bubby's makes a really lovely horseradish. Where is it? Here. Look at Rose, she's trying to help. Do you see it, Rose? My horsey, do you see my horsey? 
Let's see if I can find it. I need to buy some more. I know I was kind of low, but I shouldn't be out. Wow, Boise, Idaho, super chat. Thank you for that. That's, uh, what was that, Amira? Uh, Adira, thank you. That was very sweet of you. Ask Bobby, what's your favorite? Oh, thank you. Uh, Ontario, Canada. Love all four of you. Thank you for that. I appreciate that. So this is the last of it. This is the last of my horseradish here. Strong stuff, but really, really good. And then... What else should I, oh, uh, mustard. I have, maple syrup I have. What else would be good in there? There's a question for me in the meantime. Yes. What to feed an eight month old baby to help gain weight? I would recommend good fats like ghee and coconut oil. Mm -hmm. Coconut cream as well. Uh, I would recommend egg yolks. Uh, softly boiled for about six minutes. Just the yolk, no egg whites. Um, and um, okay. a bone broth. Um, yeah. Also, for more information, I highly recommend the book called Nutrition, Super Nutrition for Babies. It's on Amazon. Again, it's called Super Nutrition for Babies. Get the book and follow whatever they have there. Uh, I guarantee your baby's going to gain weight. But the fats, make sure it's grass-fed organic ghee. I like the one from Thrive Market, virgin coconut oil, and um, coconut cream. Those are healthy, saturated fats that the baby's body needs, and adults need too. Right, you want to feed them super nutrition as opposed to poor nutrition, which is- A little vinegar. What's typically out there. We have a video with Bobby uh, in the grocery oh, store yeah. called uh, 10 Superfoods for Babies. So check that out on YouTube as well. And the baby products at the store, they have like Brown sugar, canola oil, palm oil, white rice, oats. Not the kind of stuff you want to give a baby, in our opinion. You just got a $5 super chat from Rathmatic. Hey, Bobby, love your channel. Recipes, please say hi to my wife, Stephanie, who is making my asparagus. Ooh, right now. Stephanie, I hope that high heat on the oven, I hope it's high for that asparagus and that Brussels to caramelize them on the outside. That sounds really good. We got Spokane, Washington. Yeah, you can get this horseradish in the fridge section of Whole Foods. It has to be uh, uh, refrigerated. Is dairy inflammatory? I wouldn't say it's inflammatory, but I'd say it also is very mucus inducing. It is inflammatory for, for a lot of people. Yeah, inflammatory. Because the casein, see the casein? Yeah. Uh, it, which is the protein in dairy, could be very difficult to digest for some people. Uh, and that's what, that's what causes inflammation. Yeah, inflammatory, but also extra mucus building. So if you have a lot of sinus infections or just very mucusy, I would cut out dairy for 30 days. See what happens, right? Uh, what do you recommend for a person on a high protein diet? I mean, this is basically a high protein diet right here, right? Just make sure you don't eat too many carbs. A low carb, high protein would be really nice. Now, how do I make sure I don't overcook that beautiful pasture raised pork from Thrive Market? Very easy, come over here, Ben. I'm gonna take its temperature, right? So Rose, check it out. These are cooking lovely, right? And look, the color of the turmeric is staining the uh, juices coming out. I think that's really cool. Chibi's been asking about recipes for gastric sleeve people who had a surgery. Ah. Um, gastric sleeve. I don't. Yeah, I would recommend the keto diet. You know, start with that or a paleo diet. You can't go wrong. Yeah, I don't know the exact specifications of that. So, see, we're at 144. Pork has to be cooked. Ground pork should be cooked to 160. So, I'll cook that to 155. So, what I'm gonna do actually is pop the broiler on for the last few minutes here and get some color and living color art on these guys. <laughs> So I'll go five. Fire Marshal Bill? Yeah, Fire Marshal Bill here. Oh, Bob, yeah. Keep Bob, these on. Yeah. So I'll set a timer for maybe three, four minutes to check these. Yeah, so. I have to look into a diet like that, but I would guess keto paleo is like really good because it's a non inflammatory, low carb diet. And so. That would be my guess. Yeah. How's it going? Someone though? says I have an autoimmune disease and doctor said dairy is inflammatory, so I have yeah. to cut it along with soy and gluten. Absolutely. Yeah. If you have an autoimmune disease, 
keto and paleo is the way to go. It'll literally work wonders. Hey, we talked about seasoning before. This is a big bowl of vegetables, no seasoning. So just a little bit of salt in there, a little bit of pepper. I did season the rice water like it was pasta water. So that has a little salty flavor, but the kale and the other stuff. And I did season the Brussels sprout, the, uh, the zucchini and the broccoli a little bit. So now we'll do that. And then I don't mind dressing this ahead of time because I want it to really permeate and marinate and all the other eights you can think of. This is a great kind of thing to bring to a party to make ahead of time because it will sit for a couple hours, even the next day, and it won't get wilted, right? Because everything's hearty here. It'll just get really, really yummy. How's it going back there, Rosa? Eat. You got a bunch of food here. Look at this. Daddy made some roasted uh, butternut squash for you. You want some? Go back to that gastric sleep. I think somebody said that too much fat is an issue. And I think I've heard that that's a certain thing. Oh, okay. have to be careful about how much fat you take in. I think that would, yeah. I don't know. Well, the, good, good point. All right. Well, I, yeah, I'll always consult your doctor. But we, a lot of doctors will tell you, oh, the keto is too high in fat. We don't prescribe to a high fat keto. We do moderate fat, quality fat, low carb. Don't be taking these fat bombs and stuff like that. That's silly. Oh, thinking, speaking of that, I have some cookie dough in the fridge I want to pop into the oven after the uh, Kefta come out. Mmm. Wow. Good. But a little more brightness, you guys, right? Super Chef from Lynn, you mentioned a good suggestion for a woman's multivitamin in one of your videos. I didn't write it down. Do you recall what brand it was? Yes, Ancient Nutrition Women's Multivitamin. If you go to my video on YouTube for vitamins and supplements, search Flav City Vitamin Supplements. In the description box is my link for that. Ancient Nutrition one is fantastico. What kind of dressing if you don't like horseradish? Make the same one without horseradish. Not bad at all, all right? How does the wild rice taste? Nutty, earthy, and chewy. Delicious. Ask Desi. I had kimchi last night and got skin hives that prevented me from sleeping. Is kimchi inflammatory? Well, it depends on what other ingredients were in the kimchi, right? Yeah, kimchi has a ton of ingredients. There's no other ingredients, or did you get something that's full of tons of God knows what? Yeah, kimchi's got garlic, chili peppers, a ton of stuff in there. What am I coming in here for? So I would actually just go with fermented... Uh, Fermented cabbage on its own, you might be intolerant to one of the seasonings. And maybe it's a cheaper one they used MSG. We don't know, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. If if there was MSG in there, for sure, that, oh, would, yeah. that I, would be the cause. That, that's the reaction I get. My skin gets all hivey and everything. Now, look, babe. 155 there. Let's go to another one. We're pretty much done. 150. See, we're over now. I'm not worried about them uh, overcooking. Perfect. We're done. Okay. What's in the dressing again and what can yes. you substitute horseradish? For sure. I'll go over everything really quickly. I have a version of this salad. What's that, Art? Rathmatic, $2 super chat. Any kohlrabi recipe ideas? Ooh, kohlrabi is a beautiful root vegetable that's really lovely in flavor. Um, I shave it thin and I make a salad out of it. And I'm going to preheat this oven because I want to make some cookies, Rose. Cookies. Daddy loves cookies. Someone said kimchi is a high histamine food. Makes sense. Yeah, so what I would do instead is just get this from Costco, right? They don't sell that on Thrive Market because it's refrigerated, but I would get that. Yeah, so this is raw organic sauerkraut. The only ingredients here are organic green cabbage and salt and a little bit of garlic. Yeah. And then, you know what, add anything you, you want to make a homemade kimchi, make a little dressing out of like sriracha sauce and miso paste and season that. It'd be a quick miso. Miso love you. Miso love you much. Mm. Okay. These are done. They can rest for a while. The dressing for everyone asking was mayonnaise, maple syrup, lemon juice, apple cider vinegar, mustard, like stone ground, and uh, horseradish. That's it. Salt and pepper. Very, very easy one, right? You can skip the horseradish if you don't like it. Yeah, skip it if you don't want it. And you don't have to add anything else if you don't want it. Now, this is the keto cookie dough I made. This is almond flour, grass-fed butter, Lily's chocolate chips, and uh, monk fruit. I want to bake these because Daddy wants some dessert, right? 
So, I just want to use How it. How long was the cat in the oven? Um, 15 minutes plus three, 18 minutes total. 15 minutes at 350 and three minutes on a broil. So the kefta recipe is in the description box, by the way, you guys. And it's in the cookbook too. And you can get this ground pork that I used. I probably shouldn't use this one, should I? So you can get the ground pork that I used for this recipe at Thrive Market with their amazing, uh, go to the meat and seafood section. Get the pork, it's unbelievable. They have good grass-fed beef too, but I really get excited about their pork. I think it's unbelievable. Let's just scoop a few of these cookies, Rosa. And you can eat it raw too, because there's no eggs in here. But... You never showed the cookies after you baked them. Was this maybe? This? Yeah, I didn't bake them yet. That's why I forgot to bake them. So these will actually be done in probably 10, 15 minutes. What's in there, babe? So almond flour, butter, vanilla, chocolate chips that are made with stevia from Lily's, and uh, monk fruit sweetener. Ah, that, that's perfect. it. That's it. It's monk fruit sweetened. And I actually wow. made the batter yesterday. Dinner and dessert again, like last night. Dinner By and dessert. Way, we still have half of the um, date brownies that we made yesterday. Those were good. Stream. Those were good, y'all. Those are delicious. I've been snacking on them all, night, all day long. And we get to enjoy these cookies tonight with the new season of Ozarks. Thank you for reminding Yay. me, Stang Man. I hope the first couple episodes are good. We're excited. It's been like over a year since that show's been on, so I'm pretty stoked for it. So the date brownies, if you guys are interested, recipe on flavecity.com, date brownies. Yep, those are fantastic. And they're not too sweet at all. Really, really lovely. Mm. So good. No, from who? Let me see. Wow, Jill. So there's actually not because none of it is organic or grass fed. It's all made with conventional uh, GMO fed uh, factory farmed uh, beef. So unfortunately not. But thank you for that. I appreciate it so much. Mm. Yeah, Brody, you know it. Okay. I'm going to pop these in the oven. The barefoot count is in the house. The barefoot count. It's very warm in here. And I'll set the timer for 13, uh, 14 minutes. When they're brown around the edges, they're done. I got to make that uh, tzatziki sauce too, right, Ben? Yeah, why not? I don't want this. Uh... Let me cover the kefta with tin foil so they don't get cold. Now, you know what I might do just for fun? Let's check it out. The kefta are warm right now. So why don't I take some of my favorite grass-fed ghee here and then just go over them like this. Just give a little dollop, right? Let them melt in there. Totally optional. Wow, babe, you're going overboard with the ghee. Going overboard. Why not, right? And actually, I kind of want to just taste one right now. Let's see. Whoa. Oh, my goodness. Wow, it looks so juicy, babe. Try this, babe. All right. You guys, the mm. texture, wow. because wow. because of so, the almond flour, so. it's so soft. You normally think of kefta, it's kind of dense and heavy. Now, I will say, in the cookbook, I did not put almond flour, but I would update that now if I could to add almond flour, and then if you pair it with the keto red wine. Mmm. Here's to you, kiddo. That's good stuff. Wow. Bianca, you're right. Dinner, dessert, and no workouts. That's what's exactly what's happening in our house as well. A, a workout too? No workouts. Oh yeah, no workouts, right? And guys, I've been working out for ages. Excuse me, love. I just can't work out at home for some reason. What's up? Here. Does monk fruit and stevia weaken the immune system like um, sugar does. No, it doesn't weaken the immune system, but you want to take it easy because it is a bit disruptive on your gut and your gut bacteria. That being said, it's way better than sugar, which is the devil, right? But just take it easy. Don't go crazy with it. Baking with it here and there is going to be totally fun. Okay. The dishes are piling up. I got to make my tzatziki. So I'm going to get one of my favorite plain yogurts. 
here from Do Forager. Deal, babe? No, we don't have any deal right now. Ingredient. I know. We'll use parsley. I'm sorry. So. To answer a question from a fan here, you're using blanched almond flour, not the stuff with the skin on it, right? Yeah, the stuff with the skin is not almond flour. It's actually almond meal. Yeah, but if you don't have... Yeah, but it's, it'll still work. It'll still work, yes. But I get the big bag uh, from Costco of the uh, super fine blanched almond flour. Super fine. Okay, so a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. Notice how everything always has salt and pepper. Sometimes I seem like a broken record. It's really, really important. Those are the backbone of any recipe, right? A little bit of lemon juice. Chop up some parsley. Did anyone get that trivia question about parsley art or no? Yeah, yeah. People said, uh, I remember Lagra said Emerald. I oh, nice. It, nice. I'd love to hear that. Oh, yeah. We actually talked to Emerald about that when we saw him last year at a trade show. He got a big Use chuckle out of that. Leaves or dried mint. This is a sticky way better. You know what? What a great idea. We actually have dry mint. Why is that a better idea? No, uh, uh, I mean, I, I don't know. I'll I don't do know it. It's a better idea, but I think, that's the only idea yeah, right now. Experiment we have, so. right here. How about that? Um, yeah, and we have, yeah, yeah. let's do that one. A little bit of, now it will rehydrate slightly. Keep in mind, dried herbs are twice as strong as fresh, so you just want a little shtickle of it. No, forget the garlic then. Oh, I'm going to do that right now. And a little shot of really good extra virgin. Right. Jillian always makes it with dried meat. Oh, interesting. I guess, hey, when you don't have fresh, you use dried, right? And then we'll take that garlic clove and do that trick we did earlier. Of, Is that Tuscan olive oil? Uh, this one is not Tuscan art, I'm sorry. Okay. Patricia, so is Thrive not, take, Thrive not taking new accounts during pandemic. I set up an account online, but as for customer service, uh, but to no avail. I have Lyme and immune uh, compromised, only cleanest of clean foods for years. Uh, no, you're, you're talking about the new accounts or the free accounts for people with uh, health issues. No, try again. So they're actually giving away free memberships to people in medical need and financial need. Send them another message or actually just send me an email, Bobby at Flav City. I'll forward it to my contact and we'll take care of it. For every paid membership of Thrive Market, always, they give a free membership to a family in financial need. But now they're doubling down and giving it to people with medical needs and stuff like that. So it's pretty cool. Let's check for seasoning. I probably need something. What is the size of forage or your uh, are you serious? With a raccoon, I think. Or... Wow, 500 yen? I've never got that before. It's a little oh, raccoon. Thank Chinese, you. $5. Peppermint, okay, thank you. So yes, for sure. Five, how much is 500 yen these days? Like five bucks? Uh, any it's specific so food bad. recommendations to right lower bad. blood pressure? So much sodium in foods. Yeah, you got to start cooking your own food, unfortunately, because a lot of the foods from the middle aisles or processed foods will be high. I will say, watch my video I published two weeks ago called uh, Flav City's video for low salt foods. There's some really good stuff that's lower salt with good quality ingredients. So check that out. Do you have a promo code for Thrive? Yeah, so my promo code right now is in the description box. It gives you a 30 day free trial. I normally have a code for a $20 shopping credit, but they got rid of it right now because they've seen a 600% increase in memberships right now. So they kind of use too many of the codes. So I would just use my promo code and get the 30-day uh, free trial and check it out. Or if you want to wait until things get back to normal, you can sign up and get the $20 uh, credit. It's totally up to you. So, Desi, you're going to taste this for me and tell me if it's seasoned properly. I did the exact same thing on Guy's Grocery Game. That's, uh, I, let you... I was actually in charge of the tzatziki sauce on Guy's Grocery Game. And, um... Where'd your biba go? And it was delicious because I'm used to those flavors in Bulgaria. What does that need? Mm, you know what? I don't know. A little, little more garlic? Salt. A little more salt. And, oh, really? Salt. And garlic or lemon juice. Or I don't know. It needs something. A little more garlic. Then we can plate this dish. Yeah, where's Dirk? Good question. Dirk's in the house. He was on there earlier. 
Yeah, nutritional yeast can be used. I wouldn't say it's a replacement for salt, but it does have a nice salty Parmesan vegan flavor, right? So a little. Is it, John, is it true that Raymond's real salt and Celtic salt won't raise blood pressure like regular table salt? Well, yeah, I've talked about that many times. So I didn't, I didn't follow on from my earlier point. Unrefined processed salts will not raise your blood pressure as much as processed salt. Processed salts like iodized table salt and stuff like this are pure sodium chloride. So it does spike your blood pressure more than unrefined salts because those are mixed with 70 trace minerals like potassium, magnesium, and calcium, and they don't spike your blood pressure as much. But more importantly, they taste better. So it's a win-win. Winner, winner, pork kefta dinner. That's yeah, what it is. Uh, roses. A, uh, nine and a half months old and I've been putting a little bit of pinch of Celtic sea salt yep. in her food every day. It provides Absolutely. a ton of um, uh, trace minerals and uh, helps the absorption of, of minerals. Yep, really good stuff. So, okay, uh, Abigail wants to know what kind of filtration water system we have. I'll show you. It's basically a uh, reverse osmosis. We have it here under the sink. This is the tank with the filtered water. And here are all the filters. Um, basically, um, it, the water goes through um, a number of filters which strip out any heavy metals, chloride, chlorine, and so on and so forth. And then uh, the water gets revitalized with minerals. It's basically a natural way to alkalize the water. And it's uh, in essence, uh, reverse osmosis, we got the system in Venice Beach when we used to live there a few years ago. So, unfortunately, I don't have a link to share with you guys. It was a small shop. But go online and search for a reverse osmosis system. A uh, good one. Way to go. A good one. Don't buy it on Amazon unless you know exactly what you're getting. Okay, guys, we've made the kefta. Let's pour a little wine. We've made the salad. We've made the tzatziki. It's time to plate this dish and put a cap to fry this with Flav. Right, Rose? My party girl, who's a party girl in a party world. Mwah! You're such a good girl today, wow. Let's plate this dish, fam. Let's plate this dish, fam. Let's get a nice plate here. People want to know the recipe for those cookies. Uh, yeah, the cookies, um, it's on the thermal mix. Right? Uh, uh, here, do this, babe. Um, I logged in here. Here, hold on. I'll, pl I'll pull it up here. Where can you get the Celtic sea salt back? Can you get it on Thrive? I'll get it on, uh, yeah, yeah. Check the Thrive market. If they don't have it, uh, go to Amazon or go to my amazon.com slash shop slash Flav City. I have the links for the Celtic. I have Celtic kosher salt and Celtic gray salt. This is a really special salt that I use sometimes for cooking, sometimes when I want a big chunk on there. But otherwise, I use the Celtic uh, kosher salt. Let me see really quick if they have uh, that on Thrive. They have Redmond, but to be honest, I've kind of moved away from Redmond because Desi doesn't like the uh, doesn't like the minerals in there. They're a little chunky, right? And it's not her favorite. Am I logged in here? I don't know. Ah, I'm not logged in. Okay, it's all right. What's the uh, recipe for this meal? So this wild rice uh, recipe, actually you can find on flavecity.com. It's part of our uh, beach body. Yeah, it's a little different, Be but beach yeah. Beach body meal prep. It, search Flav City superfood <laughs> meal prep. That'll pop up. And the kefta is down below. So come on in here, babe. We'll put a little bit of yogurt right down here and swoosh it across. We'll take our kefta that have rested and been basted with the beautiful the turmeric just came out so beautifully. This is such a great recipe for uh, a turmeric application, right? We'll put that down yonder. And then here's what I want to do. I want to take my salad here. Look, this is a big bowl of salad. Excuse me, babe, I need some more room. Drive has kelty kosher salt. Do they? Oh, Name good. Grind. That yeah, get that. That's the good one. Because the chunky one isn't for everyone. The fine grind is for everyone. That's the wild rice crunch salad going down there. We'll take a mixture of fresh parsley and red chilies. Sprinkle that around. 
not done yet. Then I'll come into my pantry. I'll get a little bit of extra virgin olive oil just to drizzle across the top. And my friends, there it is. Pasture-raised pork kefta with a dairy-free tzatziki sauce with a wild rice crunch salad tossed in a creamy horseradish mustard dressing. Rose, OMG. Did daddy nail it? I mean, this is what healthy food is all about. Now listen, everything is made with leftover vegetables in the fridge, pantry staple like wild rice, which you can get on Thrive Market, and more importantly, the pasture-raised pork you can get on Thrive Market under the meat and seafood. Healthy, nutritious, immune system boosting, the kind of food you wanna eat when you wanna be strong like a bull and boost your immune system. So there it is. Now, instead of hashtag feed art tonight, we're gonna do hashtag Feed Desi. De Feed Desi. Get in here, my love. Desi's going to try this. Daddy just needs one more sip of juice here before I swap. Okay. Rose is a hoot, man. My gosh. Rose is ready with her spoon. Okay. Everyone say hi to Desi if you haven't done so yet. Hi, guys. Nobody puts art in a corner. Oh, my God. That's hilarious. Aww. <laughs> All right. Yeah, Himalayan right. pink salt is great, too. But not I mean, as good as Celtic, I think. If Art was here, he would ask for a knife. Oh yeah, a knife. Art always needs a knife to eat, by the way, you guys. But these kieftas are so soft. You don't need a knife. Look at that. It's the filler of the almond flour. So soft. I'm just gonna go for the kiefta first. Do what you gotta do, girl. Um, gonna dip it in the sauce. The other sauce. Uh, I'm delivering stuff to Johnny and he's getting some stuff himself. Ooh, gotta check the cookies. Don't open the thing, I just want to check real quick. Yeah. Let's just peek real quick. A little long. Oh, say two more minutes. Okay. That's if I was a judge on guys' grocery games, yes. like Bob McMillan, for example, to okay. quote him, ah. Bobby, the kefta, the yogurt sauce, the rice, it all makes sense. <laughs> and if I were a Catherine McCord, Bobby, I don't like pork and I don't like wild rice. <laughs> this dish changed that for me. <laughs> well said, Art. Um, Desi. <laughs> Just call for Art. Yeah, sorry. Art never is that, that uh, graphic. He always is so, a man of few words. I mean, the cafe is full of flavor. You guys remember all the ingredients we put in there? The parsley, the garlic, the spices. It, it all comes through. The turmeric on top, the geese, all doused through there. It, it, and then you have the tzatziki um, sauce really cuts through that richness with um, a little bit of lemon in there. It's absolutely perfect sauce for the kefta. Mm -hmm. Now, don't forget about the rice salad, my girl. The rice salad, the rice salad is full of crunch, just visually. Absolutely stunning. You have all the colors of the rainbow. Uh, the colors of the rainbow, I like that. You got purple, you have green, orange, beautiful. Mm. Wow. The rice really has a bite. Mm -hmm. Nice earthy, just like Bobby described, earthy and kind of a little bit chewy. Nice bite. And then you have fresh cabbage, soft roasted veggies. Wow. Sweetness of the butternut squash. Perfectly balanced with the with um, the dressing. Wow, Desi's on a roll. Taking oh, notes flavor. here or what? Well, explosion of flavors. What do you think, Rose? Explosion of flavors? Explosion? Amazing, babe. Let's take the cookies Absolute out of the dish. oven. Thank you, Carmen. Let's give out. Let's see. Are they brown around the edges? Yeah, they're done. Let's grab a... How long did you make for uh, 16 minutes. Okay, I think that's done. Yeah. The baby proof got you there. Hey, Rose. You ready for dinner? <laughs> yeah, you just want to bake these until they're golden brown around the edges. Put them over here. Okay. Down there. Perfect. Excellent. That's excellent dinner, babe. Wow. Yep, wow, and dessert, wow, and, and the Ozarks. You killed it. Killed it. 
try with a try with a sip of wine sip of wine. to chase down that. Uh, There's a really nice spice from the red cherries on top, also. Right, yeah, just I'm a little bit, a right little bit of heat, a little bit of hate. Yummy. Oh, good. Love it, Luma. Isn't Delicious. that good? Thank you. Thanks, babe. I'm gonna try one bite of everything together here. Right, Rosa? Let's see. It's a very beautiful looking dish. Okay, let's try this. Mm-hmm. Wow. Rose, you can't have this one because it's a little too spiced for you. But wow. Everything Jesse said and more. So good. I mean, the quality of that pasture-raised pork is next level because all the pork you get at the grocery store is factory farm gmo fed this is the opposite pasture raised 100 percent delicious right so i encourage you to try that out right get the thrive market promo code in the description box place an order for the pork get the 30-day free trial get the ghee to cook it in you're good to go recipe for the kefta down below you can sub out any ground meat you want Recipe for the uh, salad, search Flav City Superfood Meal Prep. We'll have it for there. Um, we'll be back for sure on Monday, but I saw a lot of people in the comments want to do uh, brunch with Bobby this weekend, babe. So. Oh, we got to do it then. Maybe we'll do it. You know, uh, the only way you know that we schedule a live stream is enabling the uh, bell icon below the video. That way you get a push uh, before we go live 30 minutes. So that's it, you guys. Amazing time hanging out. Rose had a great time. Rose was here the whole time, by the way. Bravo to Rose. Rose, you're unbelievable. You're unbelievable, right? How do you stay with daddy and mommy for one hour and one minute? That's amazing, right? Uh, so we will see you very soon. And, but Rose, daddy, and mommy will see you and we say into it like we always do. And Art, hashtag keep on cooking, mad love, and peace. Right? And may Rose have a good night's sleep tonight because last night she didn't. Right, Rose? Are you waving? Are you waving goodbye? Are you waving? <laughs>